So I've been driving the car for a couple days now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys your first cold start of the cammed full bolt-on RT. Um, it is insanely loud. Uh, I need to put resonators on this thing or put cats on it or something because um, my poor neighbors uh, probably already hate me and I've only been driving it for like three or four days. But uh, we're going to come to the end of the driveway and I'll start it up. down you'll get more of the chop sound but um it's loud dude hey what is going on guys donovan here i'm not sure how well you can hear me uh because this car is fairly loud but um this is a video that it seems a lot of people have been uh anxious for and uh, basically this is gonna be like my first impressions of driving my uh, freshly cammed Charger RT. Now the interesting things about camshafts is there's like a very broad spectrum of camshafts. And since I haven't really told you guys exactly what camshaft I have, um, obviously the experience is gonna be different uh, for every user. Um, even individual cars are different, um, as we've learned trying to tune this thing. Um, I've had a couple of issues with the car that we had to deal with before I was able to drive it. And I want to explain those things to you guys since I like to be transparent with my projects and since I have nothing to hide. So the cam in this car, it's right on the cusp of being like a big cam. So it's right in between being medium, or, or mild, I mean, and large. So obviously when you get bigger cams, it's a little harder to tune it because the car wants to basically die when you're at a stoplight. That chopping sound you hear from a cam is pretty much a misfire. And as you guys know, my car is being remote tuned and we're having kind of a we were kind of having a difficult time getting it to drive properly. Um, the first day I started it up, I took it out for a drive, and uh, every time I came to a stop, it was stalling on me. Um, it was blipping the throttle like it had a huge vacuum leak and then pretty much dying, and then it was really hard to get it to fire back up. You had to wait till it cranked a little bit and then hit the gas or else it wouldn't, it wouldn't start properly. Um, I was kind of paranoid that it was a mechanical issue, so we pretty much took the entire motor apart a second time and put it back together. And that was when I learned that it wasn't a mechanical issue. Everything actually looked perfect. Uh, everything was perfectly clean, no bent push rods. We, so we went ahead and put new gaskets, uh, exhaust gaskets, head gaskets, head bolts. Um, I did all new intake manifold gaskets, new oil, new coolant, just to make sure and we fired it back up and it was still stalling. And it's running a little bit better, but it's still blipping the throttle a little bit. So I'm logging, not right now, but earlier today I was logging and I'm gonna go ahead and send that to him. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now moving on to the actual driving, uh, people were excited to hear about this. So I put about 250 miles on the car. There's technically no break-in for a roller, a uh, hydraulic roller lifter camshaft according to comp cams. Um, I have the Hellcat lifters on this thing, but that Tesla Model 3 up there just took off. I don't know how well you guys could tell from my head cam. Um, but I went ahead and went 250 miles on it just to make sure uh, before I really push too hard, but I have gotten on it a couple times now and I've put a bunch of stop and go miles on it so I could tell you guys how it acts. She's 
she gets moving kind of quick guys it's kind of scary um, it spins really bad everywhere uh, so yeah I did like a 40 roll with my dad last night and it was spinning so and that's what the AC on in 90 degree weather with the tires heated up so uh, you guys can kind of tell that it's you know she moves out right now so when you put a bigger cam, a lot of people say you need a torque converter. Um, a lot of tuners will recommend a torque converter because when you add a big camshaft, you typically lose some low end. Now, as I said before, uh, my camshaft is fairly mild. Um, so I don't need a torque converter, but I can tell you that I do feel the loss on the low end. Once I get to about 2,500, it feels how it felt uh, stock. And then once you hit that three, 4,000 mark, the thing just takes off. Uh, right now I have it revving to, or right now the tuner has it revving to pretty much 6,500 RPMs. And it, it's brutal, man. The car does not stop pulling. I'm sure you guys uh, who are familiar with the 5.7 uh, know that sometimes when you gas it, um, and you're and you're at wide open throttle on the highway or getting on the highway uh, the car tends to die off around 50 5300 rpms it kind of nose dives um, I no longer get that nose dive and the thing keeps on pulling actually to the point where I'm fairly uh, uncomfortable with driving it at wide open throttle right now so I'm sure it's even gonna get faster uh, when we get this tune situation figured out um, also I put in a new GLT intake I haven't uploaded the video on that but it will be out very soon here basically I got rid of my GLT intake that I had Frankenstein and I have a brand new one that was intended for the 6.4 but it has the awesome new heat shield that they developed and put in the car so pretty much that's where I'm at guys um, the car, you can drive it in traffic like this. I'm a little bit uncomfortable because I am kind of afraid that it might stall on me. So uh, maybe I shouldn't have driven at 3.50 in the afternoon because uh, there's a ton of traffic out right now. But um, once I get this tune figured out, you can still daily drive this car. It's not, it's really not the worst thing in the world. And uh, once we get that figured out, I'll make sure to post more videos and stuff. I don't want to do any races until I get the tune figured out because some people are going to be like, oh, you cammed it and then uh, lost races. So it's like, uh, I kind of don't want to give people the impression that I did this for no reason. Um, and I sure as hell hope I didn't do it for no reason because uh, the cam job was a lot of work. Um, Anyways, that's pretty much my first impressions of the cam so far and basically giving you guys an update on what the heck's going on with the car. I know I haven't been uploading as much as I should have for having a newly cammed car and a bunch of new cool mods that people are eager to hear about, but this is what's going on. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the tremendous support on my recent videos. Um, people have been going crazy on them and I really appreciate that. Um, Remember to drop a like on this video if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in following my cammed full bolt-on uh, RT build a little bit more. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.